Hi Virgo, welcome back. I will be using my Egyptian deck to lay out a few more cards just to see how these six cards uh, pertain to the, your situations in, in terms of relationships, partnerships and career, creative pursuits, etc. And how these six cards apply to those areas of your life. So let's get straight into it, Virgo. So what's happening with your relationships, partnerships, spouses... Okay, you had a card flip over. Okay, the King of Swords. The King of Swords has come up twice. He's down here and he's appeared again. Now, the King of Swords is a very credible, charismatic, direct, open figure. So if there's not a strong air sign that's coming in around you, a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius that you're dealing with directly in your relationships, I feel there might be one that's coming in. Or there's a lot of words that's going to be exchanged, um, a lot of conversations, a lot of open lines of communication uh, between you and a partner potentially. For some you will be, um, there's a verdict as I said in the previous reading, there's a verdict or an ultimatum here with a justice card. So maybe if you're dealing, if you have legalities with an ex-lover, an ex-partner, an ex-spouse, Maybe this is coming up and you're finally opening and being mutually agreeable to what it is that you need to be. But we see this king, he almost looks like he's ready to go into battle. The other one sits more poised and relaxed, um, maybe with his sword not as, uh, not as high here. But this one is almost like he's ready to charge. And it's interesting, It's you, you have the Seven of Wands, which is this defensive energy here. There's a need to be defensive. Someone could be playing you for a fool. You might be you feeling gullible and naive. And maybe you've had a lot of time for solitude. The swords do represent solitude. And you've had time to think and reflect and meditate on what is happening in your relationships. It could be important conversations that are coming up here, or there could be victory with an air sign for those that are dealing with a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, a karmic link that's drawing the two of you together. You could be blaming them for something as well this month, Virgo, um, either their lack of involvement, their lack of passion, their lack of dedication, their lack of commitment. I feel as though you might be blaming someone and you won't hesitate to do this. And as I said in the general reading, it's you going out on a limb here, knowing exactly what it is that you want to say because you're either fed up, fed up with the Seven of Wands and the full card, no longer want to be put in this uncomfortable position. And I feel these words have been bubbling up for quite some time, Virgo, and it's time to say them. It's time to open up. It's time to step out, be brave, be confident, be your perfectionist self and perf perfect this conversation, those words, and exactly the message that needs to be delivered. There could be a new beginning, as I said, coming in for some of you, and it's it's someone that does have a lot of air, air element in their chart if they're not a air sign. Things are imbalanced. I think this this conversation or this these thoughts, these words, once they're exchanged, I think this will put things into perspective again. You do have this e even balance, so things will be balanced out again that were previously not not balanced or imbalanced but there's credibility here I feel like you're supported you've you've you will say something that's credible that's valid that's logical could be in an argument Virgo <clears throat> okay the eight of chalices the Eight of Chalices is fantasy, improbability, illusions, daydreaming. Maybe you've been too much in your head about it, Virgo, about asking this person out, about making a move, about actually going through with it, 
and maybe it's just been daydreams and you've limited yourself in this sense because you don't see how it's going to happen or how it's going to come to be and you're too busy fantasizing about how this person would react and then how you would react and where would you go from there and reflecting too much fit too much fantasy it could also be improbability feeling gullible we do have the full card here maybe for some of you this is a situation where you're feeling really naive feeling really gullible that you've that you thought something could happen that you preempted it so so much in your mind but you haven't carried out the practical so you don't know yet you don't know you just have questions you don't have answers yet some of you there's someone fantasizing about you could be an air sign, Aries, Leo, yes, um, that has fantasies about you or you have fantasies about them and maybe you're restricted in a way that you're married or you're not able to address this person, not able to go on adventures with this person, not able to move, to relocate, um, etc. So maybe this is what's coming in here, um, that there's fantasies in relationships. For some of you, you will be opening up that you have a fantasy. You know, we see the Eight of Wands. This is communication, action, lust. Maybe there's lustful fantasies that are happening here. And maybe you'll open up and feel naive and vulnerable when you do to someone about a fantasy that you may have. Or someone will do something around you in your relationships. It could be in love relationships, your partner, your sibling, friends. They could do something that in, in thought in theory they thought was right and they thought would go down well but it actually doesn't this could be your reaction that sort of seven of ones okay you have the lovers card very nice here the universe is sending you messages we spoke about that in the general reading the eight of ones is all about receiving messages from the universe the arrows of love are aligning and we see what looks like this cupid that's um about to use his cupid bow on, on a lady here so there's love coming in there's a selection romance but choosing there could be a couple of suitors around you virgo and you're unsure which one to pursue or which one would be better for you so it's about choosing but i feel as though <clears throat> There's a lot of things that stand out about this person that you know deep down they would make a good you would make a good couple with them that you would complement each other in a really really big way here. Maybe you're having fantasy, you know, maybe this is a third party situation. We see three people in these lovers cards. So maybe you are fantasizing about having someone else. We t we spoke about this fantasy could be an air sign. And you have a feeling a strong notion or attraction to this person and you feel on some level you would be so good together and that you belong together but in another aspect you feel foolish because either you're already in a legal contract a legal binding coupled contract you're married or you're living with someone else or morally you know it's wrong morally you know you won't take that step and you won't cheat or you won't pursue this anymore maybe that's what's holding you back for others um, there is new romance coming in definitely this person is either coming in from afar is traveled well traveled works in the law or judicial system maybe in tourism um, they could be quite sporty quite adventurous they might even enjoy extreme sports uh, they're very charming and they'll engage you mentally uh, mentally stimulate you and that's what I think is attracting you for the most part. They, they, they feed your curiosities, and your, you, you want to know more about them. You want to learn more about them and see who they are as a person. You want to get to know them better. <clears throat> for some, it's a third-party situation, either around you or around your spouse. That's coming in through relationships. Again, the need to defend yourself, to go out on a limb, to say what you need to say whether it's your partner's looking at other women or um, your partner's checking out other men or perhaps flirting, maybe crossing over boundaries this month. 
Let's have a look at your career, your creative, your work pursuits, businesses, finance. Okay, you have the Knave of Swords. The Knave of Swords is a message. It's needing to document something, but in this particular deck, this Knave lacks direction. So there's guidance that's needed in a work situation. Whether you'll be the one guiding someone or someone, particularly an air sign, will be guiding you, will be um, documenting you. There could be lack of clarity. We did speak about a lot of news coming in, um, but I feel as though something that will come across you, either a contract, a restructure or move in the workplace that will come about and it won't sit well with you. Um, and I feel you'll need you'll have the need to um, to stand up and to say something that you don't agree or if there's another way about this or if you can take another another route and do it a little bit differently so there could be this it could be written documentation yes contracts emails texts it could also be on social media so be careful it could be that there might be a falling out of either colleagues uh, yourself or with colleagues over a, a social network <clears throat> and this might um, implode into something bigger and affect the workplace again if it's contract you're receiving there's you need to read them because some part of it will not sit well with you Virgo Okay, judgment, contracts, reviews, judgments are coming in your career, reviews, people might be very vocal, um, again, judgment and deliberation are coming up in the work, um, in the work aspect, maybe you own your own business as a review coming on board, there's contracts that are coming about here with the judgment card and the justice card together. <clears throat> I almost feel like you'll be judged on what you say or how you react, but you know, it's important that we stand up for ourselves and if we see something that's ethically wrong or doesn't sit well with the best interest of the business or the workplace or work law, work harassment laws, whatever it may be, <clears throat> there's a lot of judgment that's happening around you directly or around your team or your work colleagues. Um, so this will arise, I feel as though in... Um, there's a lot of communication. We saw there's a lot of conversations happening. You have a lot of, you have two kings, two king of swords. Uh, and then you have the knave of swords and then you have this judgment card. So it's <clears throat> a lot of opinions are circulating. And again, this could implode into something larger with the judgment card here. Uh, you will be judged on something you say. Someone will either write it down or if you've written something on social media or an email through work emails and you weren't supposed to, someone might find this and use it against you later on, hence the need for you to be that lone wolf and just go, no, this is what happened, this is my evidence, <clears throat> this is wrong, this is right, we should do this. But I feel like it's a, it's a, um, there's a bit major judgment call coming because we see the jackal-headed Anubis and he often leads us, well, leads the ancient Egyptians to, you know, um, to the hall of truths where they would weigh the feather against the heart and see how righteous and how good and how kind and um, <clears throat> honest and how much integrity a person had. <clears throat> So I feel it's judgment, it's crucial, and it's a big, it, it can be quite a big deal on the work front as well, especially if you're in your own business or you're working for someone. The Six of Swords. Six of Swords talks about a journey. We see the boat of Ra. The boat could signify traveling, commuting, embarking on a journey, on departure. It's also about protection. The boat is protection, so needing to protect yourself and being daring, being bold. So maybe really stepping out of your comfort zone this month, Virgo, especially in regards to the, in regards to the work front. 
Some of you, you might be leaving behind um, a workplace. You might be leaving behind a job or you might be leaving behind a period within that job where it wasn't, it didn't sit well with you or <clears throat> maybe that's been a lot of turbulence and you're coming out of this turbulence, out of these obstacles with the Six of Swords. There can be someone around you that's leaving the workplace, Virgo, someone um, that has had an impact on you that you've been quite close with or that mattered to you or that was held in high regard. This person could be leaving. Again, it could be an air sign or it could be you. It can signify with this air energy, it can signify that you there's a shift happening and you'll have a different way of thinking in your line of work. Maybe someone will open up and you will see a different side to someone and you therefore will not judge them. Or will judge them differently because there's still information that needs to be taken into consideration here Virgo before you make a judgment there's still a pool of resources or opinions that need to be addressed and deciphered before you can move on before you can press forward with the six of swords There could be someone else coming in from foreign shores, a different branch maybe, or a different department that's coming in to do reviews, to do audits maybe with, within the business or the workplace, the company that you work for, the corporation. Okay, justice. In the general term, it is about, these two cards will uh, pertain to general, but in the general, uh, justice can be impl uh, applicable to a lot of things. This is karma. Karma is coming back to you. Karma is coming back to those that perhaps did you wrong, perhaps that were dishonest. It's all about, and it doesn't necessarily say it's a good karma or a bad karma. It's just whatever energies you put in there, you put out there to the universe, sorry, they're mirroring this energy back to you. So if it was your words that hurt somebody, this could come back to you. If it was your words that helped somebody, this will come back to you. I think it's more positive rather than negative with the justice card here. It can be contracts, karma, as I said, are things coming back for you that you've manifested or been meaning to attract intentionally or unintentionally. Could be fairness. There's a need to be fair. There's a need to be just. Justice needs to be served. The balance needs to be mediated. And whatever that means in your situations here. However this applies. There could be someone you're consulting. You might be consulting lawyers this month. There's a lo lot of legalities here. Um, could even be a business transaction, but I feel it's more documents and it's talking with talking with people, estate agents, lawyers, solicitors, litigators, conveyances um, about a certain contract, um, business development managers, accountants, etc. This this month. lay out one more card as a general message for you okay the fool the fool has come up twice now because we have him underneath here and we also have him here in this particular deck we see this man what looks like he's bathing by the Nile um, only to walk straight into a crocodile here. So it's almost like, I think you know what's coming, Virgo. I think there's something, an ultimatum, a decision that needs to be made, and you're scared about how you're going to do it. Um, it could be that you're walking into the lion's den in some sort of situation here, whether in relationships or career. Um, at, you know, we did talk about the need to be daring with the Six of Swords down here, the need to be bold, the need to be daring. Um, 
this month that may be important there may be a lot of opportunities a lot of windows that open up for you to do this and should you not then perhaps you will be regretting it because look the man faces danger there's if you don't address it now it can be worse in the future so however this applies to you in whichever facet of your life the full card is dangerous territory here Doing something you know is wrong or seeing something you know is wrong and not doing anything about it, Virgo, would be the most, the worst case scenario here because it can get larger and it can, um, you know, it can get worse. But I feel as though for others, it could be a foolish situation here with third party, something's happening here, either you're interested in someone else or someone you're interested in is having fantasies about someone else. You can see that, you can feel it um, and it's about not tolerating this. Why? For that security? Is it worth it? Interesting read this month, Virgo, if I say so myself.